Welcome to Cancer, the ocean of compassion. The key word for Cancer is I feel. We are made of water and Cancer is the first water emotion sign. And the highest emotion we can experience is not love, but unconditional love. Cancer teaches us the magic of acceptance, accepting ourselves and accepting others, even accepting our enemies. Therefore, the Buddha of compassion, according to the Tibetan Buddhism, His Holiness the 14th Dalai Lama, happens to be a Cancer with a Cancer rising. The Dalai Lama means the ocean of compassion. So what Cancer gives us is the ability to relax into the nurturing, beautiful, emotional energy of the Great Mother. Cancer is the giver of life. It's the Great Mother, the womb, the moon. Cancer is a cardinal water sign and we are made of water. Our bodies around us, creatures on the planet, are made of water. The planet is covered mostly with water. So a lot of people believe that this planet, Earth, is the school of compassion where we all come from all over the universe to learn unconditional love. And the dean of this school is Cancer. we need to focus on during the month of cancer first of all to work with the moon identify when there's a new moon and the day after the new moon start something new in your life then as the moon is growing it's waxing add things to your life you can always look up and see when it looks like a D it's growing then when the moon is full rest take time to reflect on your wish and how it manifested so far and then when the moon is waning and looks like a sea cut things out of your life let go of things edit your wish so you can start something new on the next new moon the other thing we need to focus on cancer is nurturing things whether it's nurturing your friends nurturing friendships nurturing your work seek something that's to grow don't forget cancer is the sign of mothering the most important thing to do during the month of cancer is four acts of compassion try to think of four things that you can do that can help another person but do it unconditionally meaning without having to attach yourself to that giving that act of giving the other thing is to work with your mother call her forgive her accept her if she's not alive, then do something in her memory. And also, try to find somebody that you might have wronged and ask for forgiveness. What we're trying to do here is wash ourselves with the water of cancer. All the negativity to wash away so that the next sign comes, we will be clean and ready for something new. The other thing is to focus on your home. Do something nice for your home, for your office. Clean your car, rearrange some closets in your home. This is the month when you are supposed to connect to your feelings. So it's really important to watch movies that are emotional, to listen to songs that are emotional. I want you to cry a few times from laughter, also to cry from sadness. It's okay, this is the month to feel. So how do we get along better with cancers? Cancers need to be needed. So don't be afraid to show your vulnerability. They will appreciate when you talk with the words, I feel. They will hear you better. Show patience with cancers. Give them time to get ready. And visit your cancer friends in their homes. Bring something for their home and compliment them as hosts and compliment their home. Now don't try to make cancer feel guilty. That's the worst. Let them feel you, but without the negativity. And if a cancer friend or family member is moving out of their home or office, help them. Just like the hermit crab, they can be very vulnerable without their shell. And to get along better with cancers, you need to make sure that you like their family members and connect to their family. Don't let the cancer choose between their family and you. Nourish, feed, listen to the cancers. They will eat up emotional support. 
And if a cancer withdraws into their shell, make sure to drop everything and talk to them. Bring them back into the light. Remember, feelings is what cancer needs. When we talk about unconditional love to ourselves, to other people, what we need to do is go back to the background, to the past of the person we're trying to connect to. Think about the mother. The mother who gives us unconditional love is because she remembers us when we were in her womb. And then as a one month, two month old, she sees us growing and we're always going to be that little innocent baby. The same thing we need to do with the people we don't like, even with ourselves, in the parts of us we don't like. And what cancer teaches us is to have unconditional love to our imperfections. So what's so beautiful about cancer is it helps us look into our affliction, into our imperfection, and realize that that part that is not perfect in us is what makes us perfect. It's our greatest gift because it allows us to grow.